Hey fellas, it's uh, Zem back with another World of Warplanes 2.0 video. Okay, um, we're talking about premium planes. Uh, Alright, you've played this game, you like it, it's fun, makes you all tingly, whatever. Uh, you're enjoying the game, and, and now you're thinking, well, you know what, maybe I, want, I need some, uh, some, more credit, some more credits to buy some planes. Uh, and the best way to do that is premium planes. Now, the one thing about premium planes in this game, it's different than the other wargaming products, is that it doesn't actually, so like this, uh, the, the aircraft they have, or the Air Bonita right here, uh, if I take the P-40 pilot out of my P-40 and put it in this craft, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work like in tanks where you can switch uh, crews out of regular tanks, put them in premium tanks, and they work just fine. You know, they train them, they, you can train the skills and that stuff. It doesn't work that way in warplanes. Uh, so that's one of the downsides of the premium aircraft. I would, uh, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that they'll change this back to where you can actually uh, use uh, premium planes to train uh, pilots uh, from other aircraft uh, in that line. Uh, I'm hoping that happens. We'll see if it does. I um, mean, you can still train American pilots in these aircraft. You just have to spend the gold to transfer them, uh, spend the gold or the, the, the uh, grind the XP out to transform to another plane. You know, so it doesn't it doesn't have the same benefit it does uh, premium uh, vehicles like it does in world of warplanes and world of uh, world of tanks and world of warships. Uh, out of that, you still have the increased credit income, and you still have the uh, transferable XP. So you know you build XP on this and you can convert it to free XP. You still can do that. Uh, so that out of the way, uh, back to the uh, premium aircraft. And I'm going to be showing you uh, one from each uh, line, uh, and this is my opinion. Okay, so I, I've been playing wargaming products for like six years, uh, fifty some thousand battles in tanks, thousand uh, battles in World of Warships, three thousand battles in uh, World of Warplanes before they changed it to the new mode. Uh, so I bought a fair amount of uh, premium vehicles. One premium vehicles did missions. One premium vehicles. And the biggest thing is, and I'll tell you about it, is, is the buyer's remorse that people have about f buying a plane and not liking it. Uh, so here's my suggestion. If you're going to buy planes, premium planes, uh, I would suggest play, a, play at least all of the role or all of the um, classes of aircraft first, heavies, light fighters, multi rolls ground attacks whatever play uh, play those lines uh, and not just that uh, jump around from the different nations and try to get up to at least tier four tier five right get a feel for the aircraft before you start putting money on uh, into these premiums uh, it's just it's just a suggestion uh, you know, even after <laughs> 50,000 games in uh, World of Tanks, you know, I still got suckered in buying, t buying the uh, AMX uh, CDA-105. <laughs> I mean, it's a sexy-looking tank, right? Yeah, but damn. Uh, anyway, back to from, let's not worry about my troubles, but uh, but you get what I'm saying, right? It, it looks good. It's like, oh, damn, that plane looks nice. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's 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 give that a whirl. Buy it. Oh, this this thing sucks, and then it sits in your garage and just wasting money. So please check everything out, be out before you start buying premiums. Uh, watch some reviews. Uh, I'm going to be putting up reviews of these five aircraft here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, or actually, yeah, four aircraft, five five aircraft. I'll be putting up reviews of these aircraft. I uh, can't give you an idea what uh, what I'm talking about here, but yeah, look at the reviews uh, from other from other YouTubers. Uh, read about them. You know, kind of. It's like buying a car, right? You just you gotta, <laughs> you know, you don't want to buy a Jeep when you can buy a Honda, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, so spend the time, spend the research, and all that kind of stuff. All right, got that out of the way. Let's uh, let's talk about planes. Uh, for the American line, and I'm talking about these are going to be solid aircraft, right? They're tier five, six, tier five and tier six. Uh, you know, they're not the greatest money makers, but they do make better money than you know uh, the tiers, you know, threes, uh, fours, and that kind of stuff. And they also help you give you kind of an idea of what you're going to get into as you get into the higher tiers. 
because uh, these plays these play a lot uh, they play similar to the higher tier aircraft uh, compared to like a tier three plane right so these are going to kind of give you a little bit better idea uh, of what you're going to get into uh, tier five X, uh, XFL1, the Air Bonita for the American line. Uh, and you're going to notice uh, all these planes, they're all going to be fighter planes, right? There's no multi rolls, no heavy fighters, there's no ground attacks. And there's a reason for this. Uh, the reason for it is is, is that uh, when you start out this game, you're going to be, you know, you, you're, you're going to be in that, uh, conce that, um, that rut of maneuverable aircraft. Right? You're going to play all the low tiers, you're going to be, you know, turn and burn, you're going to, you know, you come into an enemy fighter, you're going to be turning into him, you're going to be chasing him down, you're going to be swirling all over the place, uh, you're in that mindset. So it's better to have aircrafts that kind of reinforce that mindset until you're able to be proficient in the, uh, the energy state fighters, uh, the multi-rolls, uh, the heavy fighter type stuff. Uh, those are a different play style, right? And, and so that's what I'm trying to, you know, I'm kind of gearing... Uh, as these planes are, you know, a solid premium plane, but they're also very maneuverable. And uh, that's kind of kind of my thinking here for the new player, right, to start you out with. So, XFL-1, uh, nice little aircraft. It uh, mounts a big 37mm 250s uh, and uh, maneuverable. Uh, very, very, very maneuverable. Uh, much more so than the other two. Uh, premiums in this line, uh, and and far more than the regular actual uh, planes in this tier. Uh, very maneuverable aircraft, good firepower. Um, yeah, very fun aircraft. Solid premium airplane, makes you money. Uh, yeah, that's what you're looking for. And we're going to stroll on down to the British, or not the British. I'm sorry. We're going to stroll on down to the uh, Russian. Ah, back to this one. This is the actual Air Cobra. Once again, maneuverable aircraft, good firepower. Yeah, you just it, these are hard aircraft to go wrong. Um, you know, they're they're as maneuverable, if not more, than the actual regular Tier Five uh, planes uh, that you'd fly. Uh, but it makes money. Solid premium aircraft, right? You, you can't go wrong with this. You can't go wrong with these uh, Tier 5 aircraft. And I'm only saying Tier 5, and I'm only going to do these Tier 5 and Tier 6s. Uh, you know, and I've had jumping up to Tier 7, Tier 8, uh, when you're only at Tier 3s and Tier 4s, that's a big jump. Um, and I'm not saying you can't do it, uh, that you shouldn't do it, but, you know, hey, I'm trying to save you a little bit of money. These are elk aircrafts are like 10 bucks, right? Uh, we're tier 7 tier 8 is going to be 30 to 50 bucks uh, you know these are all reasonable you can buy two of these for the price of a tier 7 uh, actually almost three of these before the price of a tier 7 uh, but they make good money good trainers for if you're if you're going to train pilots for your other aircraft you can spend the money on it you know do it um, so air cobra air cobra the p39 q q15 uh, nice little uh, premium solid aircraft uh, we're going to go actually to tier 6 for the Germans. This is actually my favorite uh, premium aircraft, uh, the Spitfire 5 DB605. I have a review on this uh, from way back in 1.9, uh, so it's kind of outdated, so I'll be doing a different one on it. Um, once again, uh, very similar performances to the Spitfires, uh, the 5s and the, uh, the tier 5 and tier 6 uh, in the British line. I can't go wrong. These are great maneuverability, good firepower. Yeah, the, you, the Spitfire line is an excellent line. Uh, and it's, it's the same thing as the German version of the Spitfire. Very solid aircraft. We're going to scroll on down to the Japanese. Now, <laughs> A6M3, uh, Tier 5. This is probably not as solid uh, as the other ones just because... I have, you know, uh, Japanese planes are, are fragile, very fragile. Uh, so they take a little bit more um, finesse uh, than these other fighters. Uh, you know, you have to be a little bit more conscious of your surroundings. Uh, but, you know, 
highly maneuverable aircraft, and then this A6M3 comes with two 30 millimeter cannons. Big boom, right? I mean, you get in behind a guy, two, three bursts, and a lot of times that's all you need to take out an aircraft. So, high, mo high mobility, big boom, you know, fun aircraft. Probably this this one's kind of on the edge of being a real solid aircraft, you know. It's it's teetering. I mean, you, you can go for like five or six games without getting fire uh, caught on fire, and then there's like you know three four times you get caught on fire in one game. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little it's a little different. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna flip on down to the British and the M20. Uh, tier five. Once again, we're back to the good maneuverability, decent firepower, good survivability actually compared to some of the other ones that we've looked at, uh, just a solid performer uh, at tier 5. Um, cost wise I think these are all, uh, at least the tech tree wise, these are all about 36, uh, yeah, I think they're all about like 35 or 3600 golds uh, or 10 or 12. Nine ten bucks uh, in the premium shop. Um, most of these other aircrafts are uh, ones that'll come up once in a while. Uh, this one's actually from the Chinese line, uh, but you know, like the Tomahawk, these are a uh, Mosquito. This one was one. Some of these other aircraft you're not going to see unless it's a you know a certain sale or they're having a, uh, a giveaway where you do some missions and you can pick up these. Uh, that's one's nice thing about Wargaming; they do offer a lot of these. Uh, missions so there you go five in my opinion very solid five and six tier, uh, tier six uh, premium planes uh, make good money uh, do well in battle uh, you know they're, they're, they're not expensive uh, they're not in my opinion overpriced for what they do uh, and, and then that's going what you're looking at, especially if you're not terribly sure about the game and how far you want to go with it I uh, would start out with these tier fives and tier sixes. Of course, buy your tier threes and fours if you want to, uh, but these are you know better money makers, and they also give you a little bit better idea of what's gonna, what you're going to get into. Okay, last thing I'm going to bring up is if you're buying this kind of stuff, I would wait. Um, their anniversary is coming up, Christmas is coming up. Uh, you know, look out, be on the lookout for deals and sales. Uh, they always pop up. Uh, you know, so to watch that out, you might be able to couple bucks off these planes. You might be able to get package deals. Uh, you know, they throw that out a couple every once in a month. They might throw a package deal out. Uh, Christmas, you usually have some pretty nice deals. You know, so hey, you know, do a little bargain shopping. So, uh, reviews will be coming on these planes in the next couple weeks. Uh, you know, an in, you know, an in-depth review of these planes and some gameplay, so you guys get a little better idea. I'm just throwing out there right now. If people are actually starting to think about buying these uh, premium planes, uh, you know, kind of give you a little uh, boost up there. So, uh, you guys have a good night. We'll talk to you later.